Hey guys, welcome back to Detroit Become Human. The last time that we left off, we were actually investigating a crime scene with Connor. We had met Carl when we were playing Marcus and Kara. We got to play as Kara again for a brief moment and talk to Alice a little bit more. Did you and know she kind the of, motto of Detroit showed us and we hope for better things? It? She showed us a picture of basically what Turd the Todd did to us. Turd the Todd, Todd the Turd? <laughs> Whatever, let's just get into it guys. Oh, oh, okay. So, I gotta remember again. Search for blue blood traces. Yeah, well they're, oh wait. Oh, I see them right here. They go from him, okay. Well, this is really interesting. So I know now if I have to make a really crazy decision, I think I can press R2 and it'll slow it down for a second. I would think. Can I talk to you at all? I already talked to you, yeah. Alright. Ooh! Just got done playing Bloodborne, so this is gonna be quite a bit different. <laughs> Alright, so he went into... He went into the kitchen for a second. Isn't that weird? Or was that... Oh, that's when he initially got stabbed. Okay, and then he made his way out. So he came back through here. It looks like he went into the ooh, it looks like he went into the bathroom for a second. Is this when he started doing that weird shit with this? Yeah, I think so. Okay, so we know that he came in here and he did all that. Um, and then it looks like he left through here. Oh, okay. So that wasn't a door, it was a curtain. But his blood was here. Oh, you went up there. Oh my god, what do I do? Can I not get up there? I know you're up there. Do I just tell the other detective? back there. I don't know, it's not really letting me do anything, so I'm a little confused. What'd he do over here? I don't know. Oh, okay, I can examine it. Oh, he moved something. The ladder was used. Yeah, I know, so... Yeah, I know he's up there. I already saw that. Find something to climb. Okay. Um... Can we use the table? <laughs> You'd probably break that, Connor, let's be honest. That thing looks jank. Can I get through? We're supposed to use a chair. There we go. Hey, that hey, hey! Sense. What are you doing with that chair? I'm going to check something. Uh, I'm going to check something. Okay. Oh, it goes outside. Search the attic. Like open look for the deviant heat wall. There's a weird shadow there. Oh my gosh. That's him. that's not him, yeah. Be careful, Connor. Oh my gosh, this is nerve wracking. Oh 
Here he goes. You're over here. Okay. You're hiding? Oh my god, you're hiding back there. Lieutenant! Oh, shit. Chris! Ben! Get your asses in here now! Ooh. Come on! I mean... It's weird. It's like you had some weird-ass shrine, though. So... I wonder what would this route be? I mean, we wouldn't have found him, I guess. All right, let's continue. Ooh. It's like, yeah, it could have been self-defense until I found some weird stuff going on in there. And obsessive writing, you know? Like, it was not mentally stable. Turd. Todd. <gasps> you mean turd? <gasps> Dinner is ready. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. This game is beautiful. Serve food. Oh, spaghetti and meat sauce. Yes. Oh, wait, is that it? There wasn't much a couple in the kitchen. I did what I could. Unlockables. I shouldn't sit like this. I gotta sit with this up. In case. Turn on the light. Now where? Turn on the lights! Can't see shit. Right here. I didn't know where it was, okay? Jeez. What does that say now? Oh, it just like did a weird something. Serve Alice and Todd. Life's funny. I lost my job because of androids. Oh, God. They might need somebody to take care of this goddamn house. What do I do? Go out and hire a fucking android. Uh, um, I'm joke. helping you. You're a joke, Todd. Uh, of course, androids are so fucking wonderful. They never fail. They never tired. They were sad. They're so fucking perfect. They ruined my fucking life. Um. What are you looking at? No, 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 no. Leave her alone. Uh... What's your fucking problem? Not the life you dreamed of, eh? Maybe you think this is easy. Maybe you think it's my fault we live in this fucking shithole. My fault your fucking mother took off. She didn't say anything. You should stop taking drugs, Todd. Sometimes you really scare me, Todd. Fucking bitch took off without a word. She didn't take her daughter. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking accountant. It's all your fault. Daddy, no. It's all your fucking fault. Oh my fault. god. Oh my god. Here. Come back here? Come back here right now! Oh boy, I cannot wait to kill you. Yes! Oh, I can't wait to kill you. You stay there. 
Don't you dare fucking move, or I'll bust you worse than last time. What? Oh, I can't actually move. Took off, not a word. Yeah, I like actually can't. I could have been happy. I wow. Have family. But no! He's doing more drugs. Shit about how I felt. I did everything I could to make her happy. It just, it just wasn't enough. Can I? Can I, I move? I just wasn't good enough for. Her. Or will he just pass out? I'm fucking brat! He is so unstable. I. Can I please go? I wanna go. That's what happens when I. What is this? What is this? Are we like breaking his command wall? I just freed myself. Protect Alice. Reason with Todd. How do you reason with him? Respect! I have a feeling this is a bad idea. You should leave her alone, Todd. She you stay out of this. We'll be next. Turn it. Alice. Okay, Daddy's now I gotta go protect back. her. I don't know why I tried to reason with this. I go. Okay, okay, okay. Go, go, go. 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 Oh. I know what I'm gonna do. Give me that gun now. Yes. Take it. I'm gonna shoot your brains out, dude. I am... I cannot stand people that abuse children. It's disgusting. That's enough! Leave her alone. What the fuck are you doing? Put down the gun and get the fuck out of here. No. That's an order! No! I want you to leave her alone. You want? What do you mean you want? What are you gonna do? You're gonna shoot me, is that it? Yeah. You're gonna shoot a human? <gasps> what? You seem Kara. I think we need to fix that. <clears throat> oh my god. No. Watch out, Kara! Go out the window! Go out the window! Out the window. Okay. <laughs> Get him. Oh, back and forth, back and forth. Stop that! Don't hurt her. Oh my god. Oh my god. No, wrong thing. The gun! Grab it! <gasps> Did I do it? Do I just uh... Yes! Screw him! There is no excuse to beating your child to a pulp. Wow, that was intense, you guys. Let's go. We we got to get the F out of here now. Woo! Okay. You have blood.
blood on your clothes. But I guess these other guys, you know, androids aren't gonna really notice. Oh, they're not on there. Todd the turd is dead as hell. You should have closed the door so people weren't so suspicious, so. Maybe I could have done that. Was intense. I did not expect him to go out that fast. Car shot Todd. We are free is my trophy. Look at all of the different outcomes, you guys. Wow. Like, that is amazing. Okay. Break programming. I could have just stood there that whole time. And then what would have happened? Interesting. I can't wait to like replay this and hear what happened in your guys' situation. This is exciting. Carl. That was by far the most boring party I've been to in the last 25 years. Every time I go to one of these, I ask myself, what the hell am I doing here? I hate cocktail parties. And all the schmoozers that go there. Well, it's a chance for all those people who admire your work to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one gives a damn about art. All they care about is how much money they're gonna make out of it. Mm -hmm. Come on, let's have a drink. Oh, the excitement of this whole thing has made me thirsty. Okay. Let's go do that. Um, you guys are saying that he was in the old alien, and I actually do recognize him. Scott, Not super well, as usual. but... Absolutely. Okay, but you know what your doctor would say. Yeah, well, he can Is kiss he gonna my die? ass. I'm old enough to choose my own medication. And he's from Grey's Anatomy. I never watched Grey's Anatomy, so I didn't know that. I also think sometimes he does sound like Josh. Or, um... What's the guy? Some Something Malik? Did you Malik? the light on in the studio? Oh no. No, no, I'm sure I didn't. Is your son Call back? The police. Detroit police, what's your emergency? This is Carl Manfred's android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break in. A patrol oh. car is on the way. Nervous. Let's go check it out. No, that's not what you do. That's definitely not what Marcus, you do. Marcus, no, I'm gonna come with you. I don't want you to come with me. I don't want you to come with me. Leo, look who's here. My father's plastic toy. Leo. He came in anyways. What's going on? You refused to help me, so I'm helping myself. I'm trying to It's save crazy you. what some people pay for this shit. Don't touch them. Look, they're all gonna be mine sooner or later anyway. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. Marcus, get him away Ew. from there. Get him out of here. Okay, here we go. Reason, order, advise, warn. Look, I've already called the police. You should go now before you get yourself into more trouble. All you ever do is tell me to go away. What's wrong, Dad? Not good enough for you? Not perfect like this fucking thing. That's enough. Get out right now. What makes what? it so special what? anyway, huh? What's it got that I don't leave him alone? No, oh my god. Come on, Carl, just Let's see what you got. Just stay over Marcus, there. Don't defend yourself, you hear me? Don't do anything. Go ahead, hit me. What you waiting for? What? Think don't you're a man? defend myself. Act like one. This is not Stop fair. It. It's a matter too much of a pussy. Stop it, Leo! Stop it! Just scared to fight back, you fucking bitch! <gasps> I don't have to obey. What? Oh my god. Oh, I'm breaking out. Am I being bad by doing this? Because, like, I want to whoop his little spoiled 
bitch oh, right. ass. Right, I forgot you're not a real person. You're just a fucking piece of plastic. Oh, no, leave him alone. No. I'm gonna destroy you. And I'll just be me and my dad. Push Leo and her. Nobody's gonna push him. I'm sick of you. Sorry, Carl. Leo. My little boy. I, Carl, I... I fucked up. They'll destroy you, Marcus. You gotta go. Get out of here. Aww. Conjure, say nothing. Explain. Carl, I... I... I didn't mean to. Get out! Now! Go! Marcus! Don't fucking move! Who? What? Broken? Police mistook Marcus for the aggressor? Did I just die? I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Why'd you kill him? This is what tense, you guys. Took that knife? How long were you in the attic? Why don't you even try to run away? Say talk? something, goddammit! Can I talk to him? <laughs> Fuck it. I'm out of here. I shouldn't have pushed... I shouldn't have pushed that kid, but... I felt like I needed to stick We're up wasting for our time interrogating a machine. We'll get nothing out of it. You always try roughing it up a little. After no. all, it's not human. Androids don't feel pain. You would only damage it, and that wouldn't make it talk. Deviants oh. also have a tendency okay. to self-destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smartass. That's interesting. What should we do then? I could try questioning it. <laughs> it can self-destruct. Do it. We have to lose. Go ahead. Suspect's all yours. Okay. I'll try to be a little bit more caring. I feel like I messed up Marcus bad. I really hope he's okay. Okay. L1? Yes. Browse file. Right. Interrogate, analyze. I want to analyze. All right, clues. Processing LED, signs of software instability. Probability of self-destruction low. So that can tell you something? Dried blood. All right. What's going on here? Repeated marking over 16 months caused by cigarettes. Burn marks. That guy would burn him over and over again, but he can't feel pain, but I'm sure mentally it messes him up. Hit marks, non-critical damage level 2, or caused by baseball bat. Alright, where's the last one? Here? 
Housekeeper. 2030. Hmm. Let's go ahead and interrogate. Did I mess up? I think I did. Reach off of fear. Show photos. Wounds. Um, show the photos. You recognize him? It's Carlos Ortiz. Stabbed 28 times. That was written on the wall in his blood. Too low. I detect an instability in your program. I chose fear. It can trigger an unpleasant feeling, like fear in humans. Okay. Comfort, reassure, threaten. Blame. Stress levels? You're accused blame. of murder. You know you're blame. not allowed to endanger human life under any circumstances. Do you have anything to say in your defense? Too low. Shit. Symp sympathize. Threaten. Probe memory. Trust. You don't seem to understand the situation. You killed a human. They'll tear you apart if you don't say something. Too low. If you memory. won't talk, I'm going to have to probe your memory. No! No, please don't do that. Ooh. What are you hiding? What? What are they gonna do to me? They're gonna destroy me, aren't they? Truth. They're going to disassemble you to look for problems in your bio components. They have no choice if they want to understand what happened. Why did you tell them you found me? Why couldn't you just have left me there? True. I was programmed to hunt deviants like I you. I want him in the optimal levels. I just accomplished my mission. I don't want to die. Then talk to me. I... I... Choose approach. What do you mean? Okay. Pressure it. Probe its memory. Convince it. I think I'm gonna probe its memory, you guys. You leave me no choice. R2? Oh my gosh. Oh, it hurts? Oh, I feel bad. Wow. Wow. Ooh. I accessed its memory. I know what happened. I feel bad. I'm doing everything cruel, but I don't... It's really hard to not... to know what's right and what's wrong. Leave interrogate. It said... It said confession was unnecessary because I obviously already knew he did it. Oh. And... yeah. Okay. Now he's what the totally... fuck is it's destroying itself? I broke it. Stop it, goddammit! I can't Connor, stop it. Connor, stop it. Intervene. That's enough. You need to stop that right now. <gasps> Watch out! Oh! Holy shit. Did I just kill Connor? What the F is going on? Is 
Connor dead? I'm so mad right now. I'm like... Uh... Connor better not be dead. Or I'm just gonna end up replaying this game. That, like... It says he's dead. He's dead. Is he dead forever? The fuck? I'm really angry. I hope they remake him. Man, I am doing like everything- I feel like I'm doing everything wrong in this game and I'm a little frustrated right now. Like Marcus and Connor are both dead. If that's the truth, I'm starting over. Alright. End the line. I'm pretty upset right now, guys. End of the line. Yeah, you're gonna have to leave. Hey guys. Okay? We'll find somewhere to spend the night. I hope they remake Connor and I hope Marcus isn't actually dead. Come on, little girl. Come on, Alice, we've got to hurry. Burger zone? Um, the coffee shop seems like a place to go. Store. Oh, there's a motel. I'm sure that's an all-nighter, but... Laundromat. A motel. Looks like we found a place to stay. Yeah, let's check here. Is this it? Or is this a different building? No, this is it. No androids allowed. Oh. We're not going in? We have to find $40 and get rid of this uniform. Or go somewhere else. Sleep in motel. Get forty dollars, find clothes. Oh, we gotta go back. Okay. Come on. Give me your hand. Let's go to the coffee shop. I really hope that everyone's not just dead. Oh, I can't go in there? Okay, let's see the drugstore. Shop is closed. Uncomfortable but safe. How to get in. Very uncomfortable. But safe. Um, laundry mat would have cash. Open 24-7. Can't stay. Let's go in there. There will be closed too. This guy. All right. You could ask him. It's warm in here. You'll feel better in no time. I 
hope I didn't kill them. Change clothes. Don't wake him up. Steel clothes? Is there any other clothes? What's that over here, though? The beeline disaster colony bees officially extinct. Oh. Where are the next articles? It's time to face the music. Okay. I guess we gotta steal that guy's clothes. make bad decisions you guys if I don't steal that means I'm gonna have to go sleep in some shack or like if I do this I'm a, I'm a it's still stealing can I ask him you wake up I don't know whether to do it or not you guys but to keep her warm and safe oh I don't know I don't know I guess don't steal him I feel like I've made so many bad decisions already that I'm like... But that literally means that we have to go to this place over here. I guess we could go look at it. Yeah, like that. What is this? An abandoned house? Check house? An abandoned house. At least we'd be out of the rain. Kara, I don't like this place. You know, little know. girl, what am I supposed to it's do? It's just for one night and no one will look for us here. Yeah, I can only do so much. A wire cutter? Where am I gonna get a wire cutter? Find a wire cutter. Hold my hand. Where are you going? Quit it. I don't know what she's doing. Um. I don't really know what to do. Alice, you're freezing cold. I'm okay. I'm not so cold. You look lost. Oh. We have nowhere to go. I know someone who can help you. What? Really? But that's on the other side of town. We need a place for tonight. Oh. Well, that's interesting. Come on. So now what do we do? Um, maybe this place has something over here? Look, the store is still open. Maybe we should go inside. 
At least you'll be out of the cold. What do you want? I'm with a little girl, and we have nowhere to go. Could you spare some money so we can get a room for tonight? Shit. A homeless android? Ah, that's the best yet. Look, this is a convenience store, not the Salvation Army, okay? You better go if you're not gonna buy anything. Okay. I'm not gonna go around stealing everything. I need to find wire cutters. Do you, oh, tool for squat fence. I'm gonna need it, so I have to steal something. I have to. Come on, Alice. Let's go. Alice, come on. Thank you. We gotta go. Maybe we should go to the crosswalk. We got a little girl. Walk, okay. I've been like just crossing the street like crazy. How do I get in? There we go. Come on, girl. I hope this is safe. It's probably not. Are you alright? She got cut. Yes, it's just a scratch. Be careful. I hope those other people aren't dead, you guys. I'm not super happy right now. Don't worry, we're just having a look. But I don't want to like n stop playing, you know, and, and then I'll never figure out. So now I should look around. So there's that door. Alice? <gasps> Alice! What the f- Where is she? Wait! What are you doing? Visitors. Ralph doesn't like visitors. They're nasty. They may hurt Ralph. What? Android, little girl, innocent, justify. We thought nobody was here. All we want is a place to spend the night. Visitors are dangerous. Look. What they did to Ralph. Okay. Well, we're not gonna do that. Insist. Gun. Reassure. You have nothing to worry about. We're not going to do you any harm. You have my word. You must excuse Ralph. Ralph still finds it difficult to control himself. Sometimes his fear makes him do things he regrets. Ralph has seen some hard times. Okay. He's just so scared the humans will get him again. You can stay if you want. Ralph won't hurt you. I'm a little scared of him. Okay. I'll stay. We'll just stay the night. Come. Come. Can you put the knife? Come, come Can you on. Put the knife away. This way. I really hope this isn't a bad Ralph idea. Ralph has lived here since he ran away. I got a gun, so. Ralph never goes outside, so no one knows he lives here. Humans come in to squat from time to time, but you know, Ralph just hides till he leaves. <laughs> okay. Come on. Please don't hurt me. Please don't hurt Alice. 
Can't stand you another can make death. yourself at home here. Ralph is gonna go into the other room. He would like to stay with you. But he has things to do. Like it's what? Just for one night, Alice. We'll find a better place tomorrow. Yeah, this is right. this is a bad idea. I should have just Let's stole the clothes. Sleep. I should have just stole the damn clothes. Sit down and I'll start a fire. Should have kept those. Make bed for Alice, start fire. Let's start the fire first. What's that? Okay, matches. Collect wood, find pepper, or ba paper. We got that. Now wood. That's for a bed. There we go. Started. Where do we start it at? Oh, right here. I didn't see that. Now you got yourself a little fire. Hopefully it's not too scary. What else? Make a bed. Place bed near fireplace. I really hope that Ralph guy doesn't you come, come back. To bed. I did what I could. It's not much, but at least you'll be warm. Oh, I can move. Why didn't he ever love me? Why was he always so upset with me? Aww. All I wanted was a life like other girls. I did something wrong. No, you didn't. Maybe I wasn't good enough. That's why he was always so angry. I just wanted us to be a family. I just wanted him to love me. Sad. Why can't we just be happy? I don't know, Alice. He'll never leave me, right? I promise you'll never go. Promise. promise. Will we be together forever? Does that sound forever? Forever. Yeah? That's a hug. Fly in here. You go to sleep. You go to sleep, and I need to see if Marcus is still alive. Yes, kiss her. Now, sleep where the hell did Ralph go? Fly with her. I guess I'll lie with her. It's probably safer. You know, he can't come take her away if I'm right next to her. Ain't taking her from me. I mean, I'm all she's got. I can't believe her mom just left her with Turd the Todd. Todd and Turd! <laughs> I keep saying that. 33% completed? What does that mean? Is that like the whole story? Stayed in the squad. 
Okay. Meet Ralph. Wow, there could there are so many different options, you guys. I'm definitely gonna have to like replay this for sure. All right, let's continue. Oh, I really hope that they're not both dead. I think they're both dead, you guys. I think I really messed up that bad. Reboot. <gasps> Is that Marcus? Oh my god. Oh my god, it's Marcus. <laughs> He's not dead, you guys. Oh, thank God. He's diagnosing himself. Impaired vision corrupted mind palace. Why does it have a green one there? Or a blue one? All systems in low power mode defective. God, this game is gonna be hard to turn off, you guys. I have no leg. Missing, unable to stand. What happened to me? Corrupted audio data. Ooh, this is crazy feeling. That one. Oh, poor Marcus. I didn't mean to kill that stupid guy. I have a feeling he would have beat me up anyways, though. looking at me. Well, we can stand. Now we need to fix our hearing. See that robot? Oh, it's a junkyard. You, you were, you were looking at me. I can't talk to him, no. Let me make sure. Yeah, R2 is broken-ish. <gasps> There's a place where we can be free. Find Jellico! Find Jellico! Ferndale. Can I use your audio device? No. Jericho. Wow, look at the movement on him. It's so lifelike. Wow, you can see inside of him. I just realized that. He's hard. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh my gosh. Oh 
phone, sorry. Okay, I'm just glad Marcus isn't dead. I think Connor might be dead, though. Replace damage, find optical unit, find audio thing, okay. Incompatible, all right. Incompatible. That just went through my body, I think. Ooh. This is terrifying, you guys. Ooh. Compatible. Take it. Oh, no. <laughs> Spare. <laughs> Maybe we can find a different one. Maybe we can find a different one. Okay. What about you? Walking around like that. Looking out. We're not looking out. Wait, what's the word? Check that. Compatible. Take it. Hello. I'm an AK-700 Android. I was designed to serve you. What I'm sorry, but you gotta go. My program has detected an anomaly. Please contact the nearest satellite mission center. Okay, we got our eyesight fixed. Whoa. He's got one blue and one like hazel. Very cool. We still need more stuff though. Find pump regulator, find audio processor. Okay, I see. So maybe we can get something out of this right here. I see how R2 helps me find stuff now. Oh, darn it. Over here? Oh, can I just go like this then? Oh, I didn't know that. Compatible. Let's go get it. That definitely would have been easier. I was just lying there? That's kind of strange. Yes. Please fix that. God, it's so loud now. Okay. That. Yes. Let's take this. this do? Woo! I think we're gonna be okay, guys. I don't know. Connor might be officially dead, though. Climb the slope. Is 
that my only option? I guess so. Everybody's trying to climb it. Wow. It's disturbing. Most of them can't. Marcus. Shank? Oh my god. Oh, he's he's going for it. He's getting off the grid. Oh, they can heal themselves like that? needs to rip hers out My too. Name is Marcus. I hope Marcus doesn't turn into a bad guy. Cause that was a little spooky. From the dead. Climb slope. Yeah, I didn't want to kill that one. It's messed up. Oh, I can't stop playing this game. Okay, I'm gonna do just a little bit more. <gasps> Connor? Oh, Connor, thank God. Oh. Oh man, I was beating myself up, you guys. I thought I killed them both. Can I go off the path? No, I can't. So th is this what happens when I die? I want to go over this bridge. Whoa. Are you Amanda? Was there other things I could do though? Doesn't look like it. Hello, Amanda. Connor, it's good to see you. Your predecessor was unfortunately destroyed. It knew deviants could be unpredictable, but it wasn't careful enough. I've got to be more careful. Make the same mistake. I don't intend to. Cool. When a Connor model is destroyed, its memory is transferred to the next one. But some data can be lost in the process. Oh. Avoid being destroyed. It will be better okay. for you and the investigation. I understand. Gotcha. The interrogation seemed challenging. What did you think of the Deviant? Traumatized severe regrets. I think he had regrets. You could have killed everyone in the room. The previous Connor should have anticipated the danger. It was a mistake to let an armed policeman so close to the Deviant. Um, that's not what I thought this he was going to say. Lieutenant Anderson has been officially assigned to the Deviancy case. 
It's not what, what I thought make he was going to say. Um, unpleasant, dysfunctional, intriguing. I think he's kind of intriguing. I think he's intriguing. irritable and socially challenged. But I also think he used to be a good detective. He's an intriguing character. Yeah. Unfortunately, we have no choice but to work with him. What do you think is the best approach? Friendly, adapt, indifferent, don't know. I will friendly. try to establish a friendly relationship. If I can get him to trust me, it will be helpful for the investigation. It went down? More and more it... androids show signs of deviancy. There are millions in that. circulation. If they become unstable, the consequences will be disastrous. You're the most advanced prototype Cyberlife has ever created. Oh. If anyone can figure out what's happening, it's you. You can count on me, Amanda. Pick up the investigation where the previous Connor left off and put a stop to this. Okay. Um, except... Hurry, Connor. There's little time. I mean, some of them are deviants, but some of them aren't. Like, Kara, I don't think is a deviant. I took a psychology class on deviants. It's interesting. So I need to be more careful. Go to your reception. Can I help you? I'm here to see Lieutenant Anderson. Do you have authorization? Yes. Lieutenant Anderson hasn't arrived yet, but you can wait at his desk. Oh. Find his desk. Oh, shit. Fucking machine can get everything in the room. Well, what can I do around here? Can I do anything? This desk guy is over here. Read. Three laws of robotic parenting. Wow. Uh, you can have robot children? Ivanov says, Nyet. I don't know how to say that. Russian president responds to Warren's warning. Okay. I'll have to read those in my free time. There it is. Excuse me. Do you know what time Lieutenant Anderson usually arrives? Depends on where he was the night before. If we're lucky, we'll see <sighs> him before noon. Thanks. Your neck has been acting up bad. All right, let's sit down. We just wait for him, I guess. Nope. Fuck it. Let's explore. <laughs> Let's go. Yep. Let's go look around. Learn about him. Is he like metal? Knights of the Black Death. Yeah, dark, heavy metal. Right. Analyze. Oh. Anti-android slogans. Use your brain, not your android. He doesn't like us. Detroit basketball cap. He likes basketball. Matches Jimmy's bar. He likes Jimmy's bar. I see, it's almost wrong. Oh, he likes donuts. <laughs> okay, we'll have to get him some donuts sometime. Japanese maple. There's nothing on it. Did you kill it? Coffee. Where are the other ones? Whoop. Hairs. He has a St. Bernard. Cool. 
Red Ice Task Force. Red Ice Network Dismantle. So he helped, he must have been helping get rid of that drug problem and like turd, Todd turd, turdy Todd. Dismantle a network of red eyes. More than 50 arrests throughout the country. Detroit's finest has dealt a massive blow to the city's growing red ice epidemic. With a number of high-profile dealers and suppliers now behind bars and narcotics seized with a street value of $500,000. Detective Hank Anderson, a young but hugely talented detective, is said to have been instrumental in the operation, which took months of planning. The DA described the work of Detective Anderson and his colleagues as model investigative police work. What does O do? Oh, no, 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 keep, go back to it. Rank of Lieutenant, become, becoming the youngest lieutenant on the Detroit Police Force. Lieutenant Hank Anderson was among the most decorated detectives in DPD's recent history. New record seizure of red ice in Detroit. Okay, cool. Hello, Lieutenant. My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. God, I saw you get shot in the head last night. My predecessor was oh, unfortunately he's not happy destroyed, about it. But Cyberlife transferred its memory and sent me to replace it. This incident should not affect the investigation. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Hank! In my office! Uh oh. Uh oh. I know I must enter and listen in. Explore the office. I, I can do either or. Listen to briefing. All right, let's listen to the briefing, I guess. But I want to explore, but I don't want to miss this, you know? I've got 10 new cases involving androids on my desk every day. We've always had isolated incidents. Old ladies losing their android maids and that kind of crap. But now, we're getting reports of assaults, and even homicide, like that guy last night. This isn't just Cyberlife's problem anymore. It's now a criminal investigation, and we've got to deal with it before the shit hits the fan. I want you to investigate these cases and see if there's any link. Why me? Why do I got to be the one to deal with this shit? I am the least qualified cop in the country to handle this case. I know jack shit about androids, Jeffrey. I can barely change the settings on my own phone. Everybody's <laughs> overloaded. I think you're perfectly qualified for this type of investigation. Bullshit! The truth is, nobody wants to investigate these fucking androids, and you left me holding the bag. Cyberlife sent over this android to help with the investigation. It's a state-of-the-art prototype. It'll act as your partner. No fucking way! I don't need a partner, and certainly not this plastic prick. Hank, you are seriously starting to piss me off. You are a police lieutenant. You are supposed to do what I say and shut your goddamn mouth. You know what my goddamn mouth oh. has to say to you? Okay. Huh? Okay. I'll pretend like I didn't hear that. So I don't have to add any more pages to your disciplinary folder because it already looks like a fucking novel. This conversation is over. Whoa. Jeffrey, Jesus Christ, why are you doing this to me? You know how much I hate these fucking things. Why are you doing this to me? Listen. I've I recognize just about this enough guy. Of your I've bitch. seen him in movies. Either you do your job or you hand in your badge. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. Don't worry, I'll be a good android. Oh, okay. Anderson positive file. I'm very pleased to have joined the team. I can assure you I'll do my very Close best. Close the door on your way out. Have a nice day, Captain. Can you imagine saying that? I don't, you know that he's like a high-level prototype. Like, he's not... Just some robot. Should I go explore first? I want to explore, though. What's the meeting room? Okay. What about the break room? Are we gonna burn ourselves? Shit. Look at that. A fucking ghost. His clone ends up in a dumpster, but this morning, what do you know? Now the son of a bitch takes his place. Hmm. 
Greet, introduce, ignore. Hello, Detective Reed. Never seen an android like you before. What model are you? RK-800. I'm a prototype. A prototype? Android detective. So a machine's gonna replace us all. Is that it? Hey, bring me a coffee, dipshit. Get a move on! Just do it. It's not like it hurts. Just get him a stupid coffee. Okay. Now you're just being an ass. Like, trust me, I I get why they would be upset. I mean, that's a very real concern that machines are going to take our jobs. And then what do we do? How do we survive? How do we live, you know? But it's not the actual Android's fault that they exist, you know? It's the people that made the company. This would be the first case of an android being authorized to play an active role in criminal in investigations. Here? We contacted CyberLife for comment, so. but no one was available to answer our questions. Where'd Hank go? And to call it a success would be an understatement. Oh, there he is. <laughs> he, like, blended in. Constructive New Connor. Understanding, pragmatic, constructive. New I Connor. understand the destruction of my predecessor may have been unpleasant for you, Lieutenant. I'll do everything I can to make sure it doesn't happen again. Partners, positive. Now that we're partners, it would be great to get to know each other better. Oh, desk. Is there a desk anywhere I could use? No one's using that one. Okay. I just want to be your friend, Hank. I want to ask you about your dog. You have a dog, right? How do you know that? The dog hair's on your chair. I like dogs. What's your dog's name? What's it to you? Sumo. <laughs> I call him Sumo. Okay. Basketball, music. Um, music seems invasive. Anti-androids. Okay. <laughs> Which one do I choose? Basketball. You're a Detroit Gears fan, right? Denton Carter scored 53% of his shots from the three-point line yesterday. Did you see the game? That's what I was watching at the bar last night. Oh. I don't know why that would have upset him, honestly. Do you listen okay. to Knights of the Black Death? I really like that music. It's full of energy. You listen to heavy metal? Well, I don't really listen to music as such, but I'd like to. Okay. I'm trying, man. What about A this A lot one? of people don't appreciate having androids around. I was wondering, is there any reason in particular you despise me? Yeah. There is one. Okay. I lowered it? Have you Fowler. known Captain Fowler for long? Yeah. Too long. Hours? I was wondering, do you always arrive at the office at this time? I arrive when I arrive. Stop busting okay. my balls, okay? 
I'm doing horrible. Oh. If you have he just doesn't like us. He just like doesn't like us. Form of red ice. Terminal's on your desk. Knock yourself out. Okay. How do I save this game? I'm not really sure. <laughs> Alright, so... Suspect. Um, case status open. Involving Android, yes. The plaintiff claims to have been attacked by an AV500 model Android working as a waiter in the Fast Coney Dogs restaurant chain situated. Okay, the plaintiff claims the Android lunged at him unexpectedly and attempted to strangle the man before leaving the scene. The android remains at large. Plaintiff reports that he left his android at home as usual when he went to work. When he returned, the android was nowhere to be found. No trace of a break in the apartment. The android may have left the home without being ordered to. The plaintiff claims to have been attacked by her android. The android also trashed several rooms in the house before taking flight. Plaintiff, the manager of the Eden Club, reported the unexplained disappearance of a sex android. The android disappeared after accompanying a customer to his home and never returned to the club. Two hundred and forty-three files. First wow. dates back nine months. It all started in Detroit and quickly spread across the country. Wow. An AX four hundred is reported to have murdered a man last night. That could be a good starting point for our investigation. Zakara. Zakara. Quit it! Do you want a donut? Put a donut in your mouth. <laughs> Direct aggressive understanding. I understand you're facing personal issues, Lieutenant. But you need to move past them. And That's hey, not what you say to don't people. Don't talk to me like you know me. I'm not your friend, and I don't need your advice, okay? He doesn't know better. He just doesn't know better. Uh, determined. Resign the mission. Determined. I've been assigned this mission, Lieutenant. I didn't come here to wait until you feel like working. Listen, asshole. If it was up to me, I'd put a lot of you in a dumpster and set a match to it. So stop pissing me off. How am I supposed to know that I... Uh, Lieutenant? He I'm hates sorry me. Sorry to disturb you. Hank I have some information on the AX400 that killed the guy last night. It's been sighted in the Ravendale district. I'm on it. Oh, shut up. I've tried so hard to be nice to him. I mean, granted, my little android self says things that he shouldn't, but like... Jeez. I just can't please that dude. Hank got a lead. Hank is mad. Great. Alright, well, I think that... I think that's the save point. I think that's where we're gonna end it, guys. Um, but at the same time, like, what happens if I... Yeah, so that's saving. Cool. I'll show this cutscene, but then I'm definitely gonna have to stop. Oh, I just want to keep going, but I can't. We're alive and we're well, guys. We're okay. All right, I need to stop. Okay, so I'm definitely gonna end it there. I think this has been a really exciting episode. I legitimately thought I killed those two people. I thought I killed Marcus and Connor for good. I was very upset, like really upset, but thank God they're not dead and we just saw that Kara and Alice have woken up safe. So that kind of puts me at ease before the next episode. Make sure to check out the links in the description, leave a like if you enjoyed and thanks for watching guys.